Uh, I'm going to start with congratulations on the movie. I thought you guys did such a great job, uh, but it really, uh, and I have a lot of questions about the movie, but I like throwing a curveball at the beginning. So for all three of you, if someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? Wow. Of any movie, of any anything? Any project you've worked on. Wow. I, if, if the only thing they watched, and I'm not saying it just because this is what we're talking about, if the only thing they watched was this story because it's so well made by Ron Howard and because on a human level, it's about the best of us and it's a true story, I, I would be fine if this was the only thing. Uh, I'm going to say uh, I, I would love people to watch... Um, uh, Loving? Yeah, loving or yeah. Loving. Maybe I'm a bad genius. Bad genius. Bad genius. Yes, what? bad genius. Yeah. Uh, so I, I thought that Ron did such a good job, well, great job with this because he didn't Hollywoodize this material. He just let, let it just play out. And between the script and the way he shot it, uh, it's so well done. And I'm just curious if you could talk a little bit about that aspect that this isn't some spruced up version of this story it's as is it just felt like a documentary almost well he's a great storyteller and he respects the audience's intelligence you know if it had been another director or maybe if it had been made 20 years ago maybe all the Thai characters would have been speaking English yeah. and maybe you would have had two or three maybe four leads that would have been the UK divers and the Australian diver uh, and they would have been the heroes, out and out heroes. What's great about this story, which reflects what the real story was about, is there were no lead actors. Everybody was a supporting actor, and not just the divers, but hundreds, thousands of people of all nationalities, you know, all kinds of cultures, um, who pulled together in a massive act of volunteerism. That's what's amazing about it. And he reflects that in, in the way he layered the story, the fact that there's so much Thai spoken subtitled um the fact that he's it's not a visual effects movie per se it's it's really us underwater diving um the things we do the things you see being done we really had to do or simulate um all of that makes it it felt like it was a big production but it felt like a big huge independent movie because of the that spirit that the, in which it was made, you know, the way that he approached language, culture, so, you know, this big cast. I mean, yeah. And his, his, his mantra was always to let just strive for the truth, you know, yeah. when it came to particularly trying to bring his own, uh, you know, American self to understanding Thai culture and deputizing, deputizing members of the cast to teach him better uh, about how to, to render a moment, but always reaching out for what, what really happened. And it's a movie that's so full of characters and full of moments, a movie full of moments that is trying to be devoid of movie moments, if yeah. that makes any sense. Cliché um, lines and moments. And, yeah, you yeah. could just see him scrubbing things away that were either culturally inappropriate, um, you know, specifically not true to the event, but trying to distill, say, for example, one of my favourite characters is the main mother, Yeah, is distill the essence of the parents into one identifiable particular character within mm -hmm. that group. And, you know, because, you know, to, trying to distill this incredible story of thousands of, you know, mm -hmm. selfless volunteers into a movie, it, I think, was one of the great feats and, and challenges for Ron. Yeah, and uh, for me, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer in like uh, the Thai aspect, the Thai aspect to like you know, the Thai aspect about the culture, the people, the the accent, and everything. Uh, I think Ron respect the, the you know, like the, the Thai culture so much, and uh, he want to. He want every detail to be like authentic, so um he keep asking and uh, he very open mind. He willing to if if I have an idea and then uh you know like okay the Thai culture gonna do this gonna say this he open mind and like he can change. So um I watched this movie like a uh, third uh third time and um uh, and I 
can say that Thai culture is very authentic. And um, yeah. Uh, so I heard Vigo that you were instrumental in having. I guess originally it wasn't going to be you guys doing a lot of the scuba scenes, or they weren't sure they could fit it in. I, Ron was explaining to me that you were instrumental in the actors doing the scuba, you know, going under the water. Can you sort of talk about why it was so important to you that you actually and, and the rest of the cast perform these scenes, um, knowing that the, you know the, it's it's a tough stuff. It's tough to do stuff like that. Well, we were all going to be in the water. It was just it wasn't just part of it was probably just skill set safety you know probably producer production company was like i don't know if we should let the actors do all this stuff but it was also just scheduling i mean yes it's a big movie but it was probably half the budget and half the shooting time that normally a big production like this would have so they were shooting with three cameras all the time and it was like go 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 and working weekends and all that and it was just logistically how will we have time to have you be on the main unit doing all this stuff on land and then doing the stuff in the water, all of it, you know, so they had doubles for us to do this stuff. But then the argument was not just like our egos as actors, the argument we all wanted to do that because it would help Ron see us up close, but also we were watching very carefully for our own safety, but to get our characters right, how the type of swimming they were doing, these cave divers, very particular kind of diving. And we were imitating them well enough that Rick Stanton, the technical advisor, and Jason, and some of the others, the stunt coordinator from Australia, they were saying, yeah, these guys are looking like the real guys. And if you can use them, if there's a way to schedule it, it would be a, a plus if they're willing to do it. And all the actors, we kind of decided, yeah, we could. And so we just said, whatever it takes. So we went over time. We would look long, you know, 12 hour Saturdays when everybody else was off and be in the water just to get all those shots for Ron. And you have to shoot a lot more than you're actually gonna use. I mean, we were so many hours of footage that wasn't used. And it was just, it wasn't like, oh, me, 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 the actors wanna be on camera. It was no, so that, it, so that the audience would feel like they were in the water <coughs> and it was them. It wasn't like they took the actors' heads and <laughs> VFX, they didn't have the budget to do that anyway, probably and put them on other divers. It was so that consistently you could tell it's the same body language, it's these guys. Somebody goes by and looks up at near where camera and you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's Joel. That's really him doing that. He's got that kid. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff, it's invaluable for, for Ron. So the fact that they were able to trust us and fit it in schedule wise was, was a plus. Well, I, I can tell you as someone who watches way too many movies, I can tell when it's not the actors. And when I was watching it yesterday, I was like, oh, wait, they, they really did this. It yeah, looks great. You know, great. Um, for, for all three of you, it's probably going to be my last question, but I love learning about like the behind the scenes of the making of a movie. What are like maybe some surprising things that soon to be fans of this movie might not know about the actual making of it? I mean, I know uh, that, you know, the topography of a lot of the, uh, the caves that we're working in, is like very you know close to real in terms of the width and dimensions of some of the caves you, you know like I, I don't want to burst the mystery of it and it still made it feel incredibly dangerous but you know we're diving in these elaborately built caves on sound stages and i think you can watch like a study of it online of the of how it was constructed and and us training in there that stuff blew my mind. I've never sort of been involved in any kind of underwater stuff before, but I've seen sets that are tanks. Just the design of it. The design of it was extraordinary. We had, uh, we spent so much time in the water that when it came time to lunch, I mean, just to get all your gear off and then your wetsuit and go out, by the time you sit down and have lunch, they're saying, I'll take it back in the water. So we would be handed, we were sitting in the water eating our food. It's not a very Colin thing. Colin ordered us burgers one day oh, yeah. in, the, in chamber five, I think it was. And we're all just floating around in the water, just eating these incredible burgers. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we spent a lot of time. We were, I mean, your skin would be so yeah. pruned up by the end of the day. And you, it's not just the physical thing and the sort of, your body temperature gradually dropping throughout the day 
but mentally you're trying to stay focused so that you don't nothing goes wrong um and that you do the tasks that you're supposed to do you have to mentally spend so much energy i remember just getting back to the hotel each day and the first couple of days it was like oh i'm in front of the ocean i'm gonna go for a swim after work and it's like after a few days it was like forget about it <laughs> i want to eat a really good dinner and then i'm gonna pass out because we i mean it was exhausting it wasn't just physical though it was mm. mentally you were just because the focus was there wanting to get it right and wanting to survive <laughs> you know? yeah um i just want to say congrats on the movie and uh, i thought you guys did such a great job and thank you for your time thank you thank, man. You. thank, thank you. you thank you very much